We often hear of large snakes referred to as boa constrictor by the media, but more times than not, this name is often incorrectly applied to any large snake species, including those which are certainly not in the boa family. Some snakes are large enough to cause human fatalities, but the vast majority of scenarios where a person dies involve a type of python, notably the Burmese and reticulated python, both of which are somewhat popular in the exotic pet trade and are among the longest snakes in the world. Boas, on the other hand, tend to be much smaller, and there's possibly only one fatal attack from the boa constrictor species in recent American history. In fact, there are on average 0 to 1 constrictor snake-related fatalities in the United States per year. Sadly, 2022 has now become a year where there has been at least one of these fatalities, and a snake involved also lost its life. On Wednesday, July 20th, 2022, police were called to the Pennsylvania home of 27-year-old Elliot Sensiman due to a report of a man in cardiac arrest who had a snake wrapped around his neck. Sensiman owned multiple animals, and neighbors have stated that they've seen him interacting with the snakes, and they've even spotted them in the window of his home. When authorities arrived, Sensiman was unconscious, with the animal still wrapped around his neck, lying on the floor between two rooms. Upon witnessing the harrowing scene, the officer was able to make a split-second decision. Once the snake briefly moved its head away from the man's body, the officer shot it, causing it to release Sensiman and retreat. The officer was then able to render aid to the man. Sensiman, who initially survived the incident, was quickly transported to the hospital, but sadly, he died on the morning of Sunday, July 24th. Anoxic brain injury due to asphyxiation by constriction was listed as the cause of death. According to the coroner's statement, a boa constrictor type snake approximately 18 feet in length constricted around the neck of Mr. Sensiman, thus causing the anoxic brain injury. Even the largest boa constrictor subspecies rarely attain lengths longer than 13 feet, especially in captivity. Unfortunately, it is common for lay people to refer to any longer snake as a boa constrictor, and this leads to incorrect information in the news media. According to Sensiman's friends, the snake was actually a reticulum python, a species that can reach 20 feet in length. This information, however, was reported less frequently. According to an official, specific information about the incident wasn't available as the situation had, quote, prevented extended interviews about the snake. However, one expert determined, based on the information that the midsection of the snake was wrapped around Sensiman's neck, that the behavior was not a result of aggression. They suggested that the incident may have occurred as a result of the snake trying to maintain balance. They also explained that, quote, if you're not paying attention, they can get around your neck, and then when you try to actually push-pull away from it, it can be really difficult. This was what likely occurred in the case of the sole confirmed boa constrictor-related fatality. In 2010, Corey Byrne of Papaleon, Nebraska was killed by his 9-foot-long pet boa constrictor, which was much smaller than adult reticulated pythons. Regardless, Sensman is the only person to die from any non-venomous snake in 2022, so far in the United States. Elliot Sensman had a range of passions that included woodworking, sculpting, and environmental science, which he wanted to harness in a fight against world hunger. He also frequently rescued unwanted or abandoned animals. If you would like to donate to his family for funeral expenses, please visit their GoFundMe link in the description.